Sixers lost their fourth straight game last night to the Bucks. What do you make of what's going on with Embiid in Philly? Uh, look, this game is effort. If your best player doesn't give you the effort, that's a problem. I, I don't see Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid working. Let's talk, about, it. let's talk about the heat. Yeah, I mean, Jalen's been saying that a long time. The question is, they didn't break it up yet. They're going to make one more run. Let's see where they get. Let's run the floor to Miami. The Heat did get that deal for Andre Iguodala, but they were not able to get Danilo Gallinari. DJ, is Miami a true threat in the East? Uh, no, they didn't. They didn't get the big guy that, that I thought they needed to compete with an Embiid and compete with a Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yes, they got better, but they they didn't uh, break that one or two uh, seed in the East. Secret move: Jay Crowder is a huge pickup. Allows Jimmy Butler defensively <laughs> <laughs> in toughness. What are you laughing at? I almost fell out my chair. I almost fell out my chair. Come out here. All right, and then let's talk about the biggest deal at the NBA trade deadline. The Warriors send D'Angelo Russell to the T-Wolves for Andrew Wiggins and a 2021 first-round draft pick. I don't want to talk about this trade. I want to talk about the future for the Golden State Warriors because this was a deal that surprised me a little bit. Mm -hmm. I thought that D'Angelo Russell was someone the Warriors would hold on to until the summer and then figure out exactly where they were going to go. What do you make of Wiggins going to Golden State when everyone comes back healthy? It reminds me of the pre-KD Golden State. State Warriors with a guy named Harrison Barnes, right? Everybody says, oh, I'm tired of Andrew Wiggins. He's not an alpha. I don't know if I need Andrew Wiggins to be an alpha if he's involved in the right culture. Mm -hmm. He's never been involved in the right culture of yeah. basketball. And if you know anything about the way Steph and Clay lead, Steph was in Brooklyn the other night with his team. He wasn't staying back home in Golden State or sure he could do with his wife and hang out. Like, this team surrounds you with love, and they help you by becoming more competitive and motivation. So I would ask you, DJ, Obviously, this was just a lost season in Golden State right. with all the injuries and everything else. But you look at Steph healthy, Clay healthy, Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, and whatever else they're able to add, are the Warriors back and better than ever next year? They'll be third in the West. Third. Third. This, because, does not, this, but, this would but, okay. not sound better to you than what they have in L.A. on either side. No. The, the two L.A. teams are going to be... Uh, fighting it out for the next couple years as long as those guys are in place. I'm okay if you want to have me preseason third in the West. You know why? Because LeBron is getting older. Yeah. I don't know what moves they're going to be able to make. Yeah. Who knows with Kawhi and load management, I still think the Clippers might be the favorite next year if they stay intact. Mm -hmm. But that's a heck of a position to be in. Mm -hmm. And then you have Kevon Looney. You can still have that versatile five, yeah. small ball. Yeah. I like Stephen Clay coming back. I think we forget how talented of a, of a duo no, they are. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm putting him right there in, in third place in the West. I, I just, they don't they don't have the big, or they don't have that. You don't need forward. a big today. They, they don't have that forward like when they had Kevin Durant. And not saying that they weren't good before Kevin, Kevin Durant got there, but when you got Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, you got uh, Anthony Davis and LeBron James. I mean, come on. Well, let's see what they're able to add. Yes. But I will say I was a little surprised. I mean, Wigan, can Wiggins become that guy? If he just becomes Harrison Barnes, and no disrespect to Harrison, he's a really he's good a player. Yeah. He's made a tremendous amount of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you don't look at that and say, well, they had Harrison Barnes, and now they're better no, than the I Lakers. because I no longer need Andrew Wiggins to be the best player on the floor. Yes. I'm no longer asking him to lead my mm -hmm. team. I have my two great leaders. Get him where you fit in. Mm -hmm. Be this role player. Even though you're, your salary's out of a superstar, but be this role player for us. They're going to be a very yes, interesting they will team be. to yes. watch next. Next year. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.